Hi, I'm Dr. Incognito. In this video, we're going to examine solids of revolution. So we'll look at the following example. Consider the region bounded by the curves y equals x and y equals x squared. So let's make a little graph. y equals x is the 45 degree line, and y equals x squared is a parabola. So let's consider this region enclosed between the two curves. The intersecting points are the origin and the point 1, 1. Now let's take this region and revolve it about two different lines. First, we'll revolve it about the line y equals 1. And then we'll revolve it about the vertical line x equals 1. So first, revolving the region around the line y equals 1, the volume of the resulting solid will be obtained by integrating from 0 to 1 the cross-sectional area. So if we're going to revolve this region around a horizontal line, then what will the cross-sections look like? If we pick a value x between 0 and 1 and make a vertical slice in the region at that x value, and then imagine revolving just this vertical slice around the horizontal line, then the shape we get is a washer. And the area of the washer will be the area of the outer circle minus the area of the inner circle. So the inner circle has a radius of lowercase r, and the outer circle has a radius of capital R. So our volume is going to be the integral from 0 to 1 of pi times big R squared minus pi times little r squared dx. And so now the challenge is to express big R and little r in terms of x. So for a given x value between 0 and 1, what are the radii of the washer? <clears throat> the inner radius is going to come from the distance between these two points. First, actually, before we consider that, let's notice the following. When we revolve this line segment about the horizontal line, this point at the top is going to correspond to the center of the washer. So then the inner radius will be the distance from this point to the region, the closest point in the region, and the outer radius will be the distance from the center to the furthest point in the region. So what are the x, uh, what are the y coordinates, rather, of these points? That will give us the radii. So, <clears throat> the y-coordinate of the top point is 1. The y-coordinate of uh, this point here, which is on the line, is x. And the y-coordinate of this point on the parabola is x squared. Okay, these y-coordinates come from the equations for a given x on the line y is equal to x, and on the parabola y is equal to x squared. So then to find the radii, the concept is if you have two points on the y-axis, I'll call them C and D, then the distance between those points is D minus C. So in our examples, uh, for in our problem, little r and capital R, little r will be 1 minus x, and capital R will be 1 minus x squared. So we can put those in to our integral. The factor of pi can be brought to the front. Integral 0 to 1, 1 minus x quantity, excuse me, 1 minus x squared quantity squared minus 1 minus x quantity squared dx. So that's the quantity that we need to integrate. 
So let's go ahead with the computation. Some algebra first. Uh, squaring, we get 1 minus 2x squared plus x to the fourth minus 1 minus 2x plus x squared. Integral 0 to 1. So now we have 1 minus 1 is 0. Two, negative 2x squared minus x squared will give us negative 3x squared. But actually first, the, there's a linear term, 2x, then the negative 3x squared, and then plus x to the fourth. So that's the polynomial that we have to integrate, subtracting the polynomials. So now it's a pretty easy finish. Integrate the polynomial. We get pi times x squared minus x cubed plus x to the fifth over 5. From 0 to 1, we have to evaluate. The first two actually worked out nicely. 2x is the derivative of x squared, and 3x squared is the derivative of x cubed. Uh, so they worked out very nicely. And here, when we plug in 0, that's going to be very nice also. We will get 0. So the answer is going to be pi times, plug in 1, we will get 1 minus 1, which is 0, which is nice again, plus 1 fifth. So pi times a fifth, or more simply, pi over 5. So the volume of the solid of revolution is pi over 5. <clears throat> Okay, um, let's look at uh, a similar problem. I'll erase this picture and then redraw it. <clears throat> y equals x and y equals x squared. The points 0, 0 and 1, 1. And now let's revolve the region around the vertical line x equals 1. So we'll revolve this way. So again, we'll take a value of x between 0 and 1, and we'll make a vertical slice in the region at that particular x value. Now we will revolve that slice around the vertical line, and what we will get is the lateral surface of a cylinder. So the lateral surface area, the surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi times the radius times the height. So the cylinder has a height of h and a radius of r. So our volume is again going to come from integrating an area. It will be the lateral surface area of the cylinder. So that's going to be the integral from 0 to 1. 2 pi rh. <clears throat> and now the question is, in this particular figure, what are the values of r and h? So what does r equal and what does h equal? Uh, we'll begin with h. h is the height of this vertical line segment. That will give us the height of the cylinder, and the height of the vertical line segment is the difference in those two y-coordinates. The top y-coordinate is x, and the bottom y-coordinate is x squared. Again, coming from the y-coordinate on the line is equal to the x-coordinate, which we're calling x, and on the parabola, the y-coordinate is equal to x squared. So the height is x minus x squared. And the radius will come from the horizontal distance between the vertical slice and the axis of revolution. So this distance, the distance from the slice to the revolution, will create the radius of the cylinder. The axis of revolution will be right down the middle of the cylinder. So that will be a difference in x values. The x value of the, at the line is 1 the x value of the slice we're calling x. So this is 1 minus x. So the integral boils down to 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 1 
of r times h is 1 minus x times x minus x squared dx. And just like in the last example now, we will multiply these together and then integrate. 2 pi integral 0 to 1, we get x minus 2x squared minus x, uh, plus x cubed. So that's what we get, multiplying it together. Uh, and now we will integrate the integral of x is x squared over 2. The integral of 2x squared is 2x cubed over 3. And the integral of x cubed is x to the fourth over 4. Plug in 0 and 1. 0 is a very friendly number. Every term becomes 0. So plugging in 1, we get 2 pi times 1 half minus 1 third, uh, 2 thirds plus uh, 1 fourth. So putting it in terms of twelfths, uh, 6 twelfths minus uh, 8 twelfths plus 3 twelfths is uh, 1 twelfth. And so we get pi over 6 as the final answer. So the volume in this case is pi over 6. In both examples, the main concept is to find volume, we will integrate area. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful.